Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so before we start, I'm just gonna just put it out there. This video is going to be long. I can feel it. It's going to be longer than usual because this is going to be like a chit chat chit chat video basically so usually what i like to do is i sort of just give you a voiceover so today we're gonna do a chit chat and we're going to do a smoky eye i'm super excited for this we're gonna do like a smoky eye and then we're gonna top it off with a bit of glitter mm, so exciting so if you want to see how i actually get a smoky eye with the glitter please keep watching mm. Okay, one more thing before we start is ignore my nails i've been trying to do my own nails like extensions at home so this is what the extensions look like without color and i applied some color yesterday as you can see it has come off and i don't like the black i sort of like this kind of nude colors well i tried going for something like darker but i absolutely don't like it so just ignore them i will fix them Okay, so step one, as usual, I'm going to do my eyebrows first. I always like to start with the eyes, especially if I'm doing a heavy eye makeup look because sometimes the shadow falls. So imagine if I have like a full face of foundation and shadows fall on the foundation. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Pomade in medium brown. Sorry, dark brown. And I'm going to do my eyebrows first. never start drawing like from here from this line never start like coloring coloring in from like this area because you do not want like plastered on really dark brows so usually i fill in like from here and then whatever that's left in the brush i sort of just bring that very roughly forward So next I'm going to take some eyebrow primer, eyebrow, no, eyeshadow primer and I'm going to apply it all over the areas where I'm going to put, up, put down the black. So not going too high, especially in the lid area and slightly above. This will give the, the eyeshadow a really good base to stick. Usually, you guys have seen me using like concealer. I will always put like a layer of concealer before doing this. But since we're doing like a smoky eye, I'm fine with just the black going down first. Okay, so we just need to make sure that that is nice and tacky and sticky. And then we're gonna go in with our palette. Today I'm using my Eye Magic uh, rose gold palette. I'm gonna take the black shade. I'm really dunking the color in. If you can see, I've already hit pen. This color is really black, you guys. So I'm just going to really concentrate it like on the brush, and then I'm just gonna stamp it on. I'm just going to build that color to where I want it to be. Oh yeah, it's so black. Another thing that I like to do is I like to put down a base. So sometimes I will use like, um, you know Maybelline has this like gel pot eyeliner thing. So sometimes I will just put that everywhere. And then I will just touch it up with like a bit of black eyeshadow. But sometimes if you've got a good eyeshadow primer down, as long as the base is sticky, you're good to go. Okay, I think I'm happy with where the black is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm taking the same brush and I'm just going to slightly buff outside the lines just very gently not taking it too high 
I just don't want any harsh lines there. Okay, you guys, I look so funny in the camera, but yeah, we will get there. Now I'm going to take this red. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put like red on the outside corner and a bit of red glitter in the middle. I'm so excited for this. I actually found this look, so I'm just going to buff it out on the edges, not bringing it too high up. So what happened was a few weeks ago, when I had my personal masterclass, when I had my personal makeup class, one of the girls that came in requested to do a smoky eye look and then uh, the picture that she showed me had a bit of like glitter in the middle. So I've never done like smoky eyes and added like glitter. So that was my, my first time as well. And um, when I actually added it, I added like red glitter it was so pretty you guys it was so pretty and i remember coming out and my sister-in-law was here and she was like that is so beautiful you know and ever since then i've been thinking like i wanted to recreate that like for youtube or tiktok or instagram and some of you were asking me like for a smoky eye tutorial and i thought like why not why not we dabble in some glitter Okay, so I'm just buffing that out. So this will take some time usually because I want that color to be seen and I always start like light and then bring it to a darker tone. So let's just build the color. How are you guys? How are y'all doing? I'm actually filming this on a Friday night. So most probably this will be going up on Saturday, I think tomorrow. Uh, usually my Friday nights look like this like I end up playing with makeup because I'm too tired to go out unless like the whole fam and gang wants to meet up then yeah I will, I will go out if not a lot of my Friday nights look like this and I love it So the key with this is don't bring it in too much like don't blend it here if not it will just look very muddy and messy and don't bring it up too high so you're just gonna blend 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 you know yesterday um yesterday yeah yesterday i had my online makeup class but it was online and this girl and i was telling her like okay now you keep blending keep blending and then she stopped and she went like i'm tired and i said yeah I understand I'm telling you guys makeup is not easy it takes time it takes effort you know okay now I'm gonna take this color I'm gonna try and highlight Ooh, pretty it's a bit too white but it's fine okay so now I'm going to just turn off the fan because we're gonna use the glitter sometimes with the fan on like things fly everywhere okay so this is what the glitter looks like you guys see so 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 pretty so i use like a liquid fix oh i have so little but it's fine i have not done a glitter eye in a hot minute okay so i'm gonna take a bit of like uh liquid fix you can buy this like from shopee and all that stuff. I'm not gonna add too much to the brush, just tapping it like very slightly. So I'm tapping in it and then I'm just wiping off the excess. And then now I'm gonna open my glitter. I mean, oh, I'm always just paranoid with things falling down. And you know me, I have a special talent for things dropping. So I'm gonna take a bit of the glitter. Oh, that is so pretty. Okay. And then I'm just gonna apply it on the lid. Yeah, I'm so excited. I just hope this looks nice. Looks nice as nice as what I did the other day. Ooh. Tell me you guys you can see this. Okay, so now I'm just gonna curl my lashes. This is a normal color that I bought from Daiso, I think. 
does the job. I'm taking my Intuit Lash Extra Mascara with Fiber. I'm taking my lashes. Where is my tweezers? Applying some lash glue. Okay, so that's one eye done. I'm going to quickly do the other eye and I'll be back in three, two, one. Ah, both eyes done. I applied a bit more sequins here, so I just balance it out. Now I'm going to take a cotton pad. Usually I use a wet wipe, but my wet wipes are in the other room. I'm going to take a cotton pad and just clean up and sort of just do a line at the side. Yeah, I'm just cleaning that up and wiping away every glitter and eyeshadow fallout that we've had. See? Just imagine if I had done my foundation, I think. Not a really good idea. Now I'm taking the pore filling one. This is the Catrice Goodbye Pores Poreless Primer. So I'm just going to apply it on my problem areas, pressing them in. Okay, so now I'm taking the Rimmel Lasting Matte Foundation. This is in 408 Maple. I am going to apply it directly on the sponge. And then just blend everything in. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to take the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer and then just conceal my usual spots. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly finish up all the cream products. I'm just taking my cream bronzer, which I've been obsessed with. I'm just going to warm up the face a bit. I'm doing one side at a time. Just taking a brush and stippling it in. Just a normal yellow setting powder. Before I set the face, I'm just going to blend a bit more because sometimes the lines crease underneath the eyes. Setting it where I put the concealer only.
taking my triangular sponge and just and set the nails okay so now i'm going to do bronzer because i need to set the bronzer as well i'm taking my next can <laughs> next three steps to sculpt palette just warming up the face i know nyx has closed down you guys but you can still find nyx at sephora outlet so then sephora still carry nyx now i'm going to do my nose contour brush off hmm. then just brushing off all the excess powder that we have on okay so we're gonna let all the powders like sit now I'm gonna finish up the eyes I'm taking my Rimmel Scandal Eyes Waterproof Coal Eye Cudgel and I'm gonna just like finish up the eyes my hands are wet. Just tight lining. Okay, now I'm just going to smoke the liner that we put on. Okay, so that's the eyes done. I love how the eyes have turned out. Now we're gonna do blush and highlighter. Okay, so for blush, I'm using this MAC palette, but I'm not gonna tilt it much because this is actually slightly, like slightly broken, but um, this color is like a super, super, super pretty, like berry shade, and I thought it will match the eyes. I love this color. Oh, I apply a bit too much. Now we're gonna do highlighter. I'm taking the O2 Heart Shaped Golden Highlighter in 04. I love this highlighter. Mmm. Okay, so the lip is my usual combo, the NYX Lip Liner in Cold Brew and my new favourite, the Maybelline in Nude Embrace. Okay guys, so last but not least, uh, setting spray, I'm using the Catrice Prime and Fine Anti-Shine Setting Spray. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you guys, it was super, super, super long. I know I rambled on a bit too much, but I know some of you prefer videos like this. And I also know some of you prefer like short, simple voiceover videos, so I will do both. I honestly love how this look has turned out. I'm just sad that there is nowhere for me to wear this and go to now. I'm just gonna like take a couple of pictures and then I'm gonna just remove it. But I love how it's turned out. I like how like glitter looks on like black eyeshadow. 
I think next time we can sort of like just turn it up and like do like blue eyeshadow, I mean like blue glitter or green glitter and all that stuff. So we'll do that maybe next time. I hope you found the video a bit useful. Maybe there were a bit of tricks and tips here and there that you can like follow at home, I think. Okay, so that's about it for this video. Thank you, thank you so much for watching under here. Um, please leave your suggestions down below in the comment box down below that like what do you want to see next? What do you want to see me do? You know, leave them down below and I will definitely, definitely try my best to do it. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!